Howdy. New Zealand is rattling. Romania is rattling. And also is Central Europe. I didn't really have time yet to check anything out today. But we have an unconfirmed for user reports on an unconfirmed quake, 10 kilometers in depth as always. We might have to make like this and take a screenshot. Just for the records. And we can also have a quick look at the place itself. Is there any water rain or whatever? Yes. There are, there is even a, a pond. Three of them, it seems. There is also other quakes. Maybe you have to switch to terrain quickly. Yeah, check it out. There is water. <laughs> All over the place. There has been some other quakes here. Let's start on the side of it. 20 minutes ago, Lörrach. 5 kilometers in depth. 7 hours ago, Mülheim. 1.2, 6 kilometers in depth. And now to the epicenter. Feuerbach. There is a village called Feuerbach, which means fire stream. You know? A small water body. That's the fire. Feuerbach. And here, there is at least two quakes. 14 hours ago, 2.7. With 6 kilometers of depth. 113 user reports. And then if we click again, once 2.115 hours ago. Yeah. Very interesting. Now let's check out quickly the reports. There are so many. There might be something interesting. Yeah, this doesn't really work. So now let's have a look at that. Let's take the coordinates and go over to Google Maps. This time it's not Google Earth because I have the... What is it? The, the cryptodomes, volcanic volcanoes from Germany. I couldn't make them on Google Earth, so they are Google Maps. But Copy link text. These are the coordinates. Now let's check it out. Let's have a quick look at the village. Is there any lions, dragons? Yeah, they don't work either. This sucks. There might be a dragon here. Or a lion. So since they don't work, we just have to take a look around here. Feuerbach. Phoenix Water World. Water Purification Company. Hmm. Now let's just zoom out a little bit in order to... There's castles. Sausenburg Burg Ruine. Alter Steinbruch. Ah. Now let's check out this first. Do we have pictures? Do they work? Yes, check it out. <clears throat> It's a rather green tower because there seems to be growing something. And I still think I'm not a botanist. <laughs> but I think that all kinds of plants, they have their own 
growing environment, they need, cert they need certain things in order to prosper. And there might be something within that stone which is really suitable for this plant, whatever it is. Otherwise it wouldn't grow there. It's not that often you see these kind of construction sites covered in whatever plants. And somehow when I look nowadays at these kind of panoramic pictures, I just see cryptodomes all over the place. Cryptodomes are sore stones. One of the best examples for a cryptodome is Mount St. Helens in the USA, which is a volcano which has the world's fastest growing glacier within its caldera. Cryptodomes. You want to maybe check it out on Wikipedia, you will find it. I have been talking many, many, many times about these. Yeah, and I say it once again. I came in a way to the conclusion that churches, especially the elderly ones, and castles, they are to some degree fortresses in order to protect the water, water sources. Now I have to go back. Do they look just green or what's wrong with those stones? Are these copper bearing stones? Could be. Now we have seen enough pictures of this. There would be many, many other things still to see. Let's check out Schlossburgel Stockmatt attractions. Schlossburgel. And now the pictures are working. Now just imagine how much it would cost nowadays if anyone would have, would like to have a building like this. <laughs> it, would, it would probably cost many fortunes. Now this seems to be in rather good shape. The Holy Grail. Angels. Isn't there any fountain in this yard of that castle? No, yeah, that's in very good shape. That's like brand new. Yeah, this would be an interesting library to go through. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, what a view. But... That's all just anthropologic. <laughs> Blumenplatz. Now let's check out this old, what is it, mine. They were digging, or how to say it. What's the English word for that when you're Taking out the stones, I just don't get it in my mind now. Yeah, rather, rather red. And obviously, <laughs> there has been, there has been once water. And obviously also to this extent and continuity that they were really able to build facilities which were driven by water.
the water. Uh, for those who haven't noticed, there's a second one here. Yes, this was interesting. But anyway, Mülheim. Let's switch to terrain in order to show it better. There's the Kaiserstuhl Volcano, not too far from that. And Basel, in the past, got struck by six, by magnitude six earthquakes and stronger. So we might have to expect something like this happening once then in the future. And hopefully it's not going to happen. Germany, Switzerland. <laughs> Hiya. And another mining operation and the water body. So they might be mining construction material, limestone, alkaline environment, karst, caves, groundwater, hot springs, cryptodomes, and so on and so on. Any if there is one quake in the Alps, let's check it out quickly. Yeah, here is one. Grenoble. Lac Blanc. The White Lake. Which has some little friends beside it. And the water veins. At least in this map, they don't seem to be straightly connected to these water bodies, so they might just pour out of the ground. Once again, I know, maybe it's really boring to hear the same thing all over again, but it's a very interesting repetitive pattern. Seven kilometers in depth, 0 0.7. Besides, water vein. And there's a well, obviously. But anyway, I leave it here. There is also some earthquake activity in Europe, despite not being as strong as in New Zealand. But also here, <laughs> near the Lager Lake. So we don't have to think about it about this is it is this also a volcanic quake or not yes it is it's in the eye of a volcanic complex which is very big and there are like i will say it once again there might be many 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 more volcanoes no one ever thought about them being volcanoes cryptodomes and such Twelve hours ago, fourteen and nineteen. No recent activity there. I leave it here. Thanks. Bye.